it's not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, 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 Listen to me. We are not like that. So well, maybe, maybe we don't act like, like well. animals. Hello, you're welcome to Head to Head, your non-diplomatic talk show, where we say it just the way it is, no matter whose ox is God. My name is Eshomomo Imodu. And with me on the top today is uh, a former presidential candidate under the platform of the National Conscience Party, talking about Martin Onovo. Now, Mr. Onovo, yes. nice to have you on my show today. Thank you very much. Yeah, 2011, you wanted to run. Yes. Under the same party? Yes. And in 2015 also, you were the presidential candidate. How far did you go in that election? Well, uh, from our point of view, we clearly won the election. Uh, but the fraud that was declared uh, prevailed. So that's OK. So you won the election? Clearly. Very well, clearly. Was it an election declared by your INEC or which INEC? Well, it depends. You must be the only person in Nigeria who does not know that votes don't count. The evidence is... Oh, talk, to, talk, the, tell me about that. The I evidence don't know is that. super abundant. Uh, if you don't know that, 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 it will take a century to explain that to you. Oh. Because 2015 was so clear. First, you registered 69 million voters. Oh. You had only 55 million PVCs. Oh. So directly you have disenfranchised 40 million voters. So the 40 million voters From one are, section your, are, of the are those that will have voted for your party. Well, uh, you can bring these arguments and uh, they, they are not productive. Mm. They're not productive. Because if, if you are going to be finding excuses for deviations, it's, it's not productive. No, no, no. Why, 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 why I brought this was because listen, listen, you started by saying listen, that your party won the election. Clearly. Hold on. And I knew that you signed into an agreement that and you on. believed in INEC that supervised the election. Hold on, hold on, hold on. INEC has the constitutional authority okay. to organize elections. INEC does not have the constitutional authority to rig elections. And, so, and, and, and INEC has the clear. constitutional authority to announce winner of election. Yes. Not you. No, if they announce the wrong one, then that's rigging. And you went to court to challenge that? Well, INEC has its responsibilities. Did you go to court You're to challenge listening. that? You're not listening. You ask one question, you follow up with another question. INEC has its responsibilities. If it abuses its responsibilities, then the system, not me, should correct INEC. Because the facts were obvious. In 2011, we went to court. What was the outcome? They continued in court till after the election. So if you do not know how Nigeria has been uh, misrun and brought to this sorry path, it's unfortunate because you should know. No, no, it's not as if, if you no, don't I just know. Gave you a, the I, fa the listen, fact listen, on, the, on the ground, listen, your, your, pa just, your party, I, I just, believe. I just gave you a major indication and you trivialized it. Not at so, all. So that suggests bias. Not so at all. No, 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 not at all. Le excuse me. I believe, you and I believe that INEC supervises election. That's not in question. The question is clear. So you and I believe that INEC announces the winner or loser of an, uh, the winner of an election. Oh, clearly now. And that's you and I know that INEC did not announce your party. No, did, did I dispute that? But you said your party won. Yes. And I asked, did you go to court? And I'm telling you that even in 2011 when we went to in court. In 2015, did you go to court? You cannot continuously go to court when you know what the requirements okay, are. Okay, so you do not believe in the judiciary? No, you, believe you do not the, believe in you're, INEC? You're not listening. You, this is why I said you are clearly biased. You're taking sides. And you shouldn't. You're taking sides. Yeah. If you insist that the elections in Nigeria are free and fair, you're entitled to your opinion. I have not said so. And I have expressed my well, opinion well, that they well, are not. And, and I'm and not I, doubting your opinion. I I only, I'm only questioning the opinion. Well, listen, I have given you official government data that any reasonable person will not go beyond. If you registered 69 million voters, your name is INEC, and you brought only 55 million PVCs, you have directly disenfranchised 14 million people. Assume it's your party that won the election. My party will no, not no. cheat. Wait, assuming your party won no, an election and an INEC and an INEC declares your party. Yes. And the loser mm -hmm. decides to go to court. Yes. He will go to court with the fact. And if the court speaks otherwise. Yes. In 2019, we opposed the outcome. I wasn't the candidate. So it's not about me. You don't personalize it. Okay. We went to the Supreme Court. Okay. What happened at the Supreme Court? There was a case about whether General Buhari qualified based on minimum academic qualification. General Buhari tendered a certificate 
the deputy registrar of Wayek said he cannot verify the certificate. He's not qualified. But did the court say he's qualified? That's okay. The Supreme Court itself, in one judgment by Oputa, said the Supreme Court is final. The Supreme Court is not infallible. Infallibility and finality are not the same thing. Yeah. So be very careful. And when Supreme Court made pronouncement, we submit. We, we accepted it. That is it. So, if in this instance, listen, they listen, made pronouncement. Listen, did we not accept it? So. When, when the more governorship issue came up, there was a pronouncement. I think it's wrong. We accept it. The Supreme Court has finality. Exactly. We are not challenging the authority so of the So we don't question the authority of no, the Supreme Court. So we can move forward. No, we can't. That a winner emerged in 2015 and some other parties lost in 2015. We can that move forward. That will not change our opinion. No, it, it, it's not intended to change your opinion. No, that's it's just okay. to agree with the fact no, that, no, that, no. Was, that, that, that that's the fact that, based by that INET, was not in on dispute. INET and also the courts. No, that is not in dispute. You are the one quarreling with my opinion. No, no, I'm not quarreling. I I have have not, I'm only asking questions. I have expressed the opinion and okay. it is correct okay. and it's okay. based on facts. Okay. Now, 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 now. that's a government that's been in power since 20... Uh, of, 2015, let's use 2015, then in 2019 also, they won a re-election. And uh, some persons... I just talked about the 2019, now you're insisting they won by us. Continue. No, I'm not insisting. I never declared then, so since the court declared, it's not me. So no, it won't it, be right for you to say it's me that well, is continue agreeing. with So the courts position. declared, and you didn't contest. You can go ahead, based on what the court said, based on what INEC and the court said, that a party won election. It is not in dispute what INEC and the court said. So, if it was not in dispute, then there won't be a court case. There was a okay. court case because INEC said it, and we feel INEC said the wrong thing. Yeah, and you challenged it. Yes. And the court ruled. So I can, I can make my submission based on what the court said. You're not listening. If you had followed the case, mm. which was easy to follow, mm. because the entire media monitor. No, no, no. I'm making a statement that no, you, based on 2019 trying, election. You're trying to force your opinion no, at all. that you agree at all with the INEC position. You're trying to force no. it on me. And I've told you that I reject let's, it. Let's, let's get that. I'm not forcing on you. I'm only tell, saying that based on the 2019 election. I'm saying the facts are clear. Everybody a knows. party won election no. and they are in government. No. That is a your opinion. A party is in government. That is your opinion. Let's continue. A party is in government. Nobody said that now, not in now, government. Now, now, <laughs> now, how will you assess the party that has been in government? It's clear. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a catastrophic failure. If there is a word worse than catastrophe, that is what you have. There is no government in the world that has failed on all counts. Mm. This is the only government in the history of humanity since God created Adam that has failed on every count. Let us judge them by their own standards. They say they have three priorities. Anti-corruption, cataclysmic failure, security, catastrophic failure, the economy, total ruination. There is no government that has failed on all counts. This is the only government that has ever failed on all counts. Not some, all. Just like you said, my own submission, I will also say the party will defend itself. I'm not here to speak for the party. Let the party that's defend your, itself. That is, your, that is your position. Listen, the party cannot invent facts. Listen, listen. Because when we do these things, we use data from the party mm. and the government. Because mm. it is the party by our constitution that sponsors but, 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 a candidate. But it also said that what the party, what the nation is going through was because of about 16 years of another political party that held sway. The misgovernance, the misgovernance of that political party is what we, we as a part of it, we're seeing in the system today. It's not, it's not possible because that, that's, that's repudiating the original position. And because I know how you are, I brought... No, 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 no. Don't, 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 go, don't, don't say how no, I right, am. Right. This okay. document is not my document. Yeah. This document is what the APC itself called its contract with the Nigerian people. Mm. So you don't come to this program and change the story. I have the document. I brought it here. No, Listen. No. Did wait, I wait. change the story? Yes, because you claim no. that it is because no. of what had happened. I said the party said. No, that's not what is written here. The party said. But I so, have what so, is written so here. The party said it's the years of failure. And I'm asking you, so it's not me, the party. I don't speak for the I'm party. Saying, so it's not about me. Excuse me, sir. I'm saying this is what the party said. Mm -hmm. Their national chairman signed it. Mm. He asked us to hold them accountable. The media is not holding them accountable. I'm trying to hold them accountable. And, 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 and you have the platform. Yes, oh, thank you for that. You have the platform oh, to hold you. them accountable. Oh, thank you for and that. And I also have the, I, I, I also present to you that the party is saying this. So it's not about, 
sir. Don't go personal about me. Sir, sir, sir. Look sir. at what the party is saying. Sir, sir, please. Sir, you are please. a politician. Sir, please. Ask me the questions. Mr. Mr. Onobo, Ask me the questions. Are... Allow me to answer, sir. You are, Mr. Onobo, you yes. are a politician. Yes, I am. Now, let's take a look at from 1999, when President Obasanjo was there, uh, uh, pres late President Yad Adua, uh, uh, President Jonathan. How will you, will you say that the PDP, the health sway, had built the foundation for the country? If a child scored 70% and another child scored 92%, they both passed. Mm. But one passed with excellence mm. and the other one passed with a credit. We need to get this. These are very clear. Mm. And that is why in Wayek, you have A, you have B, you have C. So let's get that clear. Let's not argue about simple things like this. What is my point? From our perspective, in this fourth republic, governance has degenerated, and the facts are clear. In this fourth republic, Obasanjo was better than Yeradua. Maybe Yeradua would have been better if he stayed longer. Because Yeradua started well, progressed well, until he had his problems, which are health-related. Yeah. But because Yeradua didn't have as much time as Obasanjo, if you look at what happened in that period, he didn't have enough time. I will project that if he had spent eight years like Obasanjo, all these problems will go away. All. Mm. He would have controlled corruption, Yaradwa. He would have uh, improved the economy, clearly, because directionally, he was in the right direction. And security would have improved security. Unfortunately, we had a setback. Dr. Jonathan came. With Dr. Jonathan, we had those challenges. But I will not rate Dr. Jonathan better than Obasanjo, and I will not rate him better than Yaradwa. Would you say the PDP government set a good foundation for the country? That's why I'm comparing, because these things must be comparative. No, no I'm coming back to this government, so I'm, I'm looking, I'm not making comparisons. I'm, I'm not progressing to the government. You no, want I'm, to come I'm, back I'm, to the government, I'll I want come, to progress. I'll, I'll come with the question. I'm analyzing the government that was there then. Well, the, the facts are that as at the time Dr. Jonathan left, we were one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Okay, now we'll go on break. Now, and when we come back, my guest Martin Onovo will still be here to throw more light on the happenings in the polity. Do stay with us. It's not the best for the country because of the challenges in the system today. Don't put words in my mouth. So that is my question. Did you conduct that, that's it. Like, Listen to me. We are not like that. So well, maybe, maybe this we don't like act like well. animals. You're welcome back. Now, if you're just joining us, I've been speaking with Mr. Martin Onobo. He is a, a petroleum engineer yes. and also a presidential candidate in the 2015 uh, general election. Now, Mr. Martin, we left off talking about the PDP, the foundation, and you were making a comparison with this government. Now, let's go back to the issue. Let's start with the point of uh, our security first. The security, in the, country has, the security in the country has so much degenerated now. And... Uh, also, we have where it started. We, we had Boko Haram that came into banditry, and it's like the whole country has been taken over by banditry. Now, how did we get here as a nation and as a people? It's very simple. We got here deliberately as a nation and as a people. Many people will want to say, no, the government brought us here. Yes, the government may have led you there, but you are the sovereign. The consumption makes the people the, the people. Yes. So the people had the authority to stop the government from taking them to a direction they didn't want to. What else would they do outside, outside voting in an election? Please, please. Uh, the people in the parliament represent the people. Okay. And if they are not representing us in the minimum, because recall is a very difficult process, yeah. we should at least communicate that. But if we are indolent, then you reap what you sow. And... Before you and I was born, the quote was already there that vig eternal vigilance is the, the watchword. Is the price of freedom. So if we're not willing to pay the price, then we won't win the price. Price that's in C and price that's in Z. Yeah. So if we're not willing to pay the price, then we won't win the price. So the national development requires effort. So if we're doing the wrong things, we're going to continue to get the right, wrong answers. If we do the right things, 
we will get the right answers. It's that simple. I agree with you that the people have a responsibility, but you see, if you make a mistake, four years is enough to destroy everything. So assuming the people made a mistake and they voted a particular government in, now you say four years to wait before they change the government? I didn't say that. There are so many things to do. So what, what, are, what are those things they, should, they, 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 they can do? You, you talked about the National Assembly? They, they also have to educate themselves. Let, let, let me just say this very briefly because uh, you have too many questions and they are, they are not all on the same issue. I think we should exhaust some of the issues. Uh, the concern allows for resignation. That is if the person wants to resign. Oh yes, you agree. That's personal, but that's not the only option. Mm -hmm. The concern allows for medical incapacitation. Mm -hmm. The person is sick. And if somebody is so sick that he leaves the country because of sickness and stays away for over three months, I think that that is clearly medical incapacitation, especially when the person is almost 80 years. If the people find the excuses for not using the constitutional authority and power, that's also part of the failure. It's a security situation as at May 2015. All the terrorism cases were still localized in Northeast. In fact, only in three states, not even the entire Northeast. Mm -hmm. Today, it's everywhere. Now, you will say, uh, he will say that now he's in an opposition party. Is global terrorism index also in the opposition party? We were the fourth most terrorized nation on earth under Jonathan. Today, we are the third most terrorized. So these things you people are denying locally are known worldwide. You can continue to deny, but these things are known worldwide. If you are talking security, we know what is happening in Ondo. We know what is happening in Ogun. These places were not affected when the former ruling party was in power. These are hard facts. So no matter how convincing you may be and finding excuses for failure, it doesn't help us as a people. Let us be productive. Every indication shows that it is getting worse. Let us find out why it is getting worse and correct it instead of finding excuses for why it is getting worse and allowing it to deteriorate. We've degenerated to this. Yes, if, you allow, us, if you allow us to do a root cause analysis, which I'm not sure we, we don't have, have all the time to do, to do that. So uh -huh. let's, let's but progress. We have done it before. Let's use security, for example. It is very clear and super abundantly obvious that the ruling party APC is the direct sponsor of insecurity and terrorism in Nigeria, the evidence is super abundant. You have the evidence. I can count it. And if you are called, you can state the evidence. There is a confession. What are you looking for? Mm. Alahaji Kaubaraje was the leader. He's, he's in an opposition now. Probably that is why he's saying Please, that. He was in the ruling party as of 2015. Now he's in the opposition. You're not listening. He was in APC as of the 2015 election. He was one of the key national leaders because he led the faction of PDP that joined APC. Mm. So he's not your ordinary person. He was the leader of one of the three groups that formed the APC. And to me, he was the leader of the most strategic group. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. He said that we brought in these people for election purposes. The presidency said these people are foreigners. Are you not aware? The president said through Femi Adeshino that we should leave our lands to them so that we can stay alive. Mr. Anubu, are you not aware of that? Let, 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 How many let's, 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 interrogate, let's interrogate further. Let now, me give you additional does it, information. No, no, does it not bother us in this country that when certain individuals or politicians are with the government of the day, they don't see anything wrong? That is natural. Then when they move out, they see everything wrong. Okay. Now, you just you pointed out something that we, the people, are also the problem. Don't you think it's a problem? We are, we are part of the problem. Don't you think it's a problem like those in the government today don't see anything wrong? Let them move out from the government to, the, to, to out of the government tomorrow. They will start speaking. Now, is that not part of the problem we have as a people? That even when we are in government, we are not sincere to ourselves to say the fact. If the media, only when we move out. If the media, there, there are natural human... Uh, tendencies. And one of them is self-preservation. You're not going no. to take it away. Whether you are a Nigerian or no. you're American or you're a Russian or you're a Japanese. No. Self-preservation. So when you are eating, when you are eating, you don't talk. That is it. Well, if you want to interpret it like that, that that's, is, that, that's, that's not what I mean. I have said universally, mm. self-preservation mm. is a human inclination. Universally. Now, and those people may actually honestly be within a system trying to correct it. We don't know. Results are what we see. And that's what I say you shouldn't challenge me on. Because the results are visible, they are measurable. What has happened is that security has got worse. 
What has happened that the Nigerian police, maybe you will call that opposition too, arrested a headsman with a Nigerian military rifle with her number HC2614. I'll give you the rifle number. Go and investigate to a journalist. Don't stay there and be finding excuses. If you have it, you say that since you know those facts, you, you say it out. HC2614. They will pick it up. It is Nigerian police they that arrested you. You, say, you, say, you, don't have, you don't have issues with the media, I want to suppose. I have issues. Oh, you have issues with the media? The, me the media. Oh, okay. You listen, have issues listen, with the listen, media. Listen, okay. listen, listen, okay. listen. You can put it as an issue. I, I, I think that the media has not excellently played its constitutional role. Mm -hmm. Not the role I gave it. It's the role that the Nigerian Constitution gave the media, mm -hmm. which is hold the government accountable. It's the Constitution. We're holding government accountable. You won't have this level of corruption. You won't have this level of lawlessness. You won't have this level of insecurity. You won't have this level of economic damage. And you remember that about four years ago, former President Obasanjo warned the Nigerians that if things continue like this, the damage can become irreversible. Yeah, let's, and let's we're go, getting let's close. Go, let's, let's go to this other issue. People say that, just like we're analyzing that, when you're in government, it's like because you're eating, you don't talk. And the, when, they were in gov when they were in the opposition, even the current party talked about restructuring. Now they're in government, they're not talking about it. When you aggravate situations, people become emotional. When people become emotional, they become less logical. They become hysterical. We're in that situation now, and we need to do something to diffuse it. What option do I agree with? Restructuring. And it has to be immediate. And it's not difficult. It can be done in a matter of days. It's very simple. We have a template. We bring this current 1999 constitution. We bring the 1963 constitution. And we align the provisions of this current constitution to the structure of the 1963 constitution. Then we change the four regions in the 1963 constitution to the six zones today. It's very simple. Now, now when you say we, you make it so simplistic. It is simple. And is it the National Assembly you're talking about? Listen. Because some people have also talked about sovereign you, national conference. Is it the National Assembly you, to you, do this you effect need, or what? You need everybody. You know why? Because the constitution does not give that authority to Eshamomo alone. Hmm. So it's a process. And the simplest way is that General Buhari initiates it, gives it to the National Assembly. They pass it. We circulate it to the state. We get to third. It becomes. So, so, so we have something like the, so, uh, what they call the wait, Jonathan's wait, Conference. Wait, so why, wait, why, why wait, is it? Wait, 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 wait. Count the people who are involved. Because it's not a one man thing. Hmm. Okay. Count the process. If General Buhari agrees to originate it. He pushes it to the National Assembly. Which it seems they are not ready. Well, I, I, I don't work with General Buhari. I don't know whether he wants or he doesn't. No, at least for six years we've not seen it. So it seems they are not ready to do that. Well, you know that they, they, he's the leader of the ruling party. And the ruling party had the restructuring committee led by Governor El Rufai. So, so, so there, there is... No, no, you, you, you don't get my, my, my stuff. Six years they've not done it. And people are saying, okay, self-determination. Is that the way to go? If the government in place is not doing this, people are saying self-determination. If the government in place... So has, what do we do? If the government in place has not done it, can't we make them do it? How? We are the sovereign now, according to the Constitution. Don't you believe in the Constitution? I believe. We are the sovereign. How do you do it? Wait for another election? No, political pressure. It's very simple. There is no government, there's no democratic government that can withstand political pressure. The truth is that every absurdity has its own champion. Now, could it also Before be, you and I was, were born, could it also be, this, this was known, yeah. that every could, absurdity has its champion. The, this absurdity in Nigeria has its own champions. And those their champions have supporters, and many of their supporters are in the media. So that is the problem. Yes, you keep coming back to the media. You forgot the role of even the, the, the opposition. That you, the opposition, have gone to sleep. After the election, you people have gone to sleep. How can you say we have gone to sleep? Because you're talking about the media. No, that, Where is the opposition? People tend to say, it's not about an op 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 opposition. Instead of facing facts. I'm not you denying the, your fact. You, you I'm become, asking the question, the what's defensive. the role of the opposition? I'm not denying the, the fact the of, media has a role. The opposition has a role. What's the role of, the, of uh, the opposition? What are they doing? The role of the opposition is very clear. What are they doing? Present alternative policy positions, which you already have. You can't deny you don't have them because they were given to you and you broadcast them. So that's number one. Number two, present alternative candidates. And that's for election. Then, after election, you present alternative policy positions. On this your program now, I have presented one, restructuring. 
I've told you how it can be implemented. And that is part of the role of the media. I gave you the platform to present it. That's part of the So it's commendable, is that not? Very commendable. Hold on. But there's an additional role of hold the government accountable. I didn't give you the role. Read the constitution. That is it. And I will, and I will bring you into whole government just like you are doing, holding government accountable. Okay, you're bringing me to become your partner. You're no, holding government. That's okay. you are the opposition. No, it's partnership. That is it. But the constitution says the mass media. Yes. Mm -hmm. The mass media will create their platform. Oh, that's your interpretation. That is why I've not wait, denied you the platform. Wait, the, co the, the, the constitution did not write it like that. No, no, but no, that, that is why I did not deny you the platform. The constitution did not write it like that. I will bring government people to talk, I will bring you to talk. That's that okay. is it. No, you choose the way you want to run your media. But I'm saying no, that the constitution no, is very no, clear. No, no, you no, hold no, them accountable. Now, no. we, we hold the government accountable. The economy is gone down and... Politicians know that 2023 is around the corner. I know you know. And I know you know. I know you know. Because that is the next election you are walking towards. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Are wait, you going to pick wait. a ticket? Wait, 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 wait. Please, please. Martin Onovo, are you going to pick a ticket in 2023? The premise of the question is wrong. The premise is very wrong. 2023 is not around the corner. We must discourage the mentality of going from election to election. We must go from election to... Even INEC is already talking about 2023. Please, sir. Please, please. INEC has election timetable. It has not come out. Please, sir. Please. Because this is important. This, yeah. this is of national, it's a national imperative. We can't go from election to election. Because election is just to select political leadership to govern. So good governance has mm -hmm. to be focused. You know, you know on why I ask you this? Yes. The PDP just said, uh, beg Nigerians to give them another opportunity in 2023. Martin Zonovo, I'm not saying this. The PDP just said it. Give us another opportunity in 2023. I think it's an unfortunate uh, position because even if they are doing that, they shouldn't bring it to the public domain because once you start election which is competitive, it distracts from governance. Mm. And we just came out of one in 2019. So if you start in 2021, what time have you had for governance? So, Please. Mr. Martin Onobo, thank you so much for coming thank on my you, talk today. Thank you, thank and you. that is all we can take from Martin Onobo on Head to Head today. Now, let's make it another opportunity on the same platform next week. I remain your sincerely, a showman will do. Now, remember that the media will always be your partner in this journey to rebuild Nigeria. We'll keep giving platforms to everyone to express their views. Thank you so much.